Welcome back, cops! My name is Paul Cup, and today we're back with another amazing QA. If you have any questions, be sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to drop a like. Let's go for 10,000 likes. Zoro. The next question is actually about you. The first question is, I think your cat is possessed. You cops think Zoro is possessed? Zoro is the sweetest cat in the world. He's just bite. He's trying to eat me right now. Zoro, why are you trying to eat me? I'm your friend, Zoro. I don't think Zoro is possessed. Zoro's just adopted. Zoro grew up in the wrong neighborhood and uh, his friends at the time had a bad influence on him. That's why he's trying to eat humans. Zoro, could you let go? And he does this every time I try to start a Q&A. Zoro, maybe he was abused as a little as a little cat by, uh, by other humans. That's also possible. So he doesn't trust them. Me and Azzy are super nice to Zoro. We're taking care of Zoro and so are you cops, right? We're doing this together. Zoro, we're giving you a great future. And if you want to bite me for no reason, then that's totally fine. Ow! <laughs> There's just spit over here now. <laughs> when is your anniversary with Azzy? E3 2017. Why is this guy so skinny? I think Azzy and this guy arm wrestle, I bet, to Azzy. This guy body is like a teenager girl by Bungum. I'm 21 years old, cops, okay? I'm a very tall dude. I'm six foot one. That's pretty tall, not super tall. Or six foot one, six foot two. What that means is that I'm just look very tall and it looks like I'm super weak because I have skinny arms. Then again, ladies, just a fair warning. This is gonna get really sexy. Ladies and, and guys that enjoy guys or guys that enjoy guys and girls or gender fluids. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't get people that call me skinny. Of course, I'm I'm not I'm not fat or anything, but I'm healthy. And let me just wait, just wait a second. This is 12 and a half kilograms right there on the biceps. Perfect execution. A little bit on the uh, on the light side even. I can do this. You know, like I said, I have long arms. It looks it looks like I'm skinny. Of course, I got my six pack going. A little bit of fat, but hey, it's all there. I'm a healthy individual. How many push-ups can you do, Jordy? Let's see. And this, of course, depends. What push-ups are you asking for? Push-ups like all the way over here, which are heavy, or the ones over here, which are easy, you know? Look at that. That's like easy. Oh, you need to put your back more, ass more down. Straight, you see? Straight all the way to the ground. Nose touching the ground. I could go on for a while. I ran half a marathon, half a marathon. But if it's me versus Azzy arm wrestling, I'm pretty sure I know who's gonna win. Oh, bitch. Again? Recreate the final fight scene from Ip Man 3. Try to watch it, then recreate it. Azzy, you will never beat me. Azzy, you will never fight me and finish me off. Azzy, first faster, first faster, first faster. There we go. That was my recreation of the fight. She's dead, by the way. Okay, cops. So, a lot of you have asked me about my car. My real car. I actually do have a real car. Let me just show you, cops. My uh, Ferrari in the last QA actually got stolen, which was a shame. So, I got a replacement. And in my eyes, this car is so much better than a Ferrari 488 Spider, okay? Cops, are you ready for the Seat Ibiza? Yes, look at that bad boy. Look at this, Seat Ibiza. It goes from zero to 60 in 12 seconds. Okay, this is a 2000 model. That means it's very good. It has some regular tires. It has a windshield wiper twice. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, side with this Lambo, look at me with my Seat. Ibiza. On top of that, it doesn't use regular fuel. No, it uses diesel. Diesel, boy. On top of that, look at this. Back to the future. Old cell. You gotta open it up. So, I actually don't have my driver's license. My, so, my mom my mom drives. Rent a car. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I got that sticker when I picked this up. I got three buttons. Lock. Trunk. Beep, beep. It just did bleep, bleep. Look at this. Where's the handle at? No, you press it here and it goes up. That is what I call modern shit. 
Oh my god. Enough trunk space to put at least one adult body or two kid bodies. Four doors. Okay. Three people can sit in the back, two in the front. Let me just look at this. Unlock. Unlock. It is right. Click, click. I can now sit here. This is where I drive. Bam. There we go, cops. This is where I drive. Like, I drive like this. And then, and then look at the key. I plug it back in there and I go. I drive. I drive. Whoa, we're driving. And then I go. And it. Turn the radio on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, not to forget the seatbelt. Don't never forget your seatbelt. But I'm a pretty good driver as long as the car stands still. I don't really have to drive. But yeah, this is my car right now. Say it, it beats. Uh, I mean, you know, you see all these YouTubers with the Ferraris and stuff, and and the Lambos, you know, showing off. Hey, you know, I got a nice car. I have a little bit of money. Tesla Model S maxed out, 130k. Yes, I mean a Lambo. Depends which one you get. Let's say 200k. Ferrari 488 Spider 250. Okay. This say at Ibiza. Priceless. I think you should make more challenges. Of course, it's my goal, cops, to make as many amazing videos for you cops as possible. One of them being the challenge videos. And I'm gonna try to do them weekly. But first, this is a sneak peek. This is what I call the ketchup bottle bottle. Fuck, this is hard. Yes, we did it! Woo, that was sick! Bam, 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 bam! Legends say that Quibble Cup will reply to this comment. Now, let me tell you, I don't know what kind of legends have told you this type of stuff, but that is definitely possible because I've been trying to respond to as many comments as I can. Now, I don't have that much time to respond to comments, but if I see a nice original comment, I will actually respond to it. So on every video, leave some nice comments, please. An original, not the not the repetitive jokes everybody copies and pastes. Oh, Quibble Cup, will you ever, ever, ever in your life live stream? Yes, and I actually have live streamed. The past month I've live streamed once, twice. Not a big fan of live streaming. I like to make videos for you cups because then I can make them awesome! Sometimes I'll live stream, of course, because then I can play with you cups. Yeah, well, I'll live stream. Maybe like once a month, once every two months. So make sure you're ready for that. Hit that bell. There's a bell over there. All of you cups go and press that bell right now. Right now. Play more Clash of Clans. Now cops, I'm not a big Clash of Clans player. I know a lot of you cops are. I think it's a great game too. It's just not really my thing. Don't. Stop it. But Quibble Cup, what game do you play on your mobile device? Obviously, it's Blockor. Blockor.io. It's a game I made together with my friends for you cops. And this is not me promoting block where I think I've done that enough already. This is more of a thank you, cops. Thank you for making our first game, our first mobile game, such a massive hit. We have already, and this is it's been a week, we have over 100,000 downloads, which is madness, which is something I would have never thought was gonna be possible. We did it in a week. On top of that, on the web browser, we have over two million unique players, which means two million of you cops have actually played the game. This is only the first game we've ever made. We've learned so much already, and I'm super excited to tell you cops that we're working on a second game. On top of that, we will try to fix some things in block or and add some new things in block or but uh, you know we're also we're working on a new game and I can't say anything about it it's top secret next question why don't I do weekly Q&A's anymore I really try to do weekly Q&A's sometimes my schedule just messes up and I forget about it but now we're back we're back with these amazing Q&A's and I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about it. I'm super excited about it. Okay, Cubs, the next question is, are you good in bed? Azzy, Azzy, can you come over for a second? Azzy, am I good? I think you're behaving right now. Am I good? Yes, you're good. Good boy? You're, you're a good boy. Okay. Am I laying good in bed? Yes. Technically, it's better for your, for your back if you sleep on, on your back. No, but am I still good? Yeah, you're still good. Uh, here in my eye from your, your hairs. That's bad. Bad, now you're bad. No! If I go bald, I'd be good in bed. No, don't go bald. I'd Am I still I'd... good? Yeah, you're still Would good. Would you say I'm still good? Yes. Even Scale of 1 to 10, how good? Even though your hair gets in my eyes all the time. That's because I have to shave. <laughs> Cops, I have some terrible news. Rockstar banned me from GTA 5.
Now, of course, all you cops are wondering, how did you get banned, Jordy? Why did you get banned? What is the story? Pretty much, Rockstar Games banned me from playing GTA 5. Now, the reason for this was I was way too good at the game. I know, it's ridiculous. It might sound ridiculous, but I was so good at the game that they said, Jordy, we need to ban you. Else Jelly and Josh do not stand a chance. So they ended up banning me. Pretty sure that wasn't the reason because I accidentally booted up GTA with some mods enabled and I joined online and there were still some mods active. Didn't use any of the mods. It was literally just in the folder and then GTA could have also banned me for that. But I don't know, I asked them and they told me that was the reason. However, I don't believe them. I think they just banned me because I'm way too good at races. But yeah, that was like a month and a half ago. I got my account back. I, I noticed a lot of you cops still ask about it. Pretty much got banned because I'm way too good or because I accidentally booted up GTA with some mods because I made a video like right before. And I don't know, it's not too bad. Of course my account gets reset, but I love GTA, so I don't mind playing it all over again. I got all my money back too, so I have like 80 million on the bank. Can't do anything with it. I mean like GTA, you shouldn't have banned me else I would now now don't have to spend any more money on all these DLCs. GTA, think about it. Why did you ban me? Think about it. Also, of course, I asked GTA uh, Rockstar Games like, hey, could you maybe give my levels back? They said no. Just just saying, like even a YouTuber with, you know, all the subs I have, all the amazing subs, the numbers don't matter. GTA doesn't give a fuck! I'm still like enjoying GTA most of the time. I'm getting a little bit bored of it, just slowly. It's getting going slowly. It's not, not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm super excited on the other hand for Red Dead Redemption 2. Like super excited. Of course I'm gonna try to bribe Rockstar Games and see if I can get the game early for you cops. Don't mark my words. I'm just gonna try, okay? Ooh. So cops, that was this amazing Q&A. If you enjoyed this Q&A, then make sure to drop a like. Also, don't forget to post your questions in the comment section below. And we'll see you cops tomorrow. Bye bye. Zoro, he, he let me go, Zoro. Zoro.